Stand back, you fools! Max. Listen well, all of you. I'm Mishdi Max, and I'm here to share this eye makeup with you. It's based on my favorite Disney princess, Maleficent. I used colors as black as her heart from Sugar Pill's Cold Chemistry palette. I used Subterranean and Elemental Chaos. <laughs> I use these amazing lashes from Sugar Pill called Spark. Feel free to click the screen and check my blog for more pictures and a list of products. First I'm going to prime my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Then I'm going to apply Milani Liquid Eye Pencil in Perfect Purple to the inner and outer corners of my eyes. And I'm going to blend the edges out with my finger. Make sure you blend on the inner side towards the center as well as the outer edge. Then it should look a little something like this. Now I'm going to take MAC Paint Pot in Black Ground and put it on the center of my lid, blending it into the purple. I'm taking a bit more purple to blend in with the black. Don't worry about it being messy, because this is just the base layer. I'm going to take the Sugar Pill Cold Chemistry Palette and apply Elemental Chaos, the purple shade here, with the MAC 239. I'm applying this to the inner and outer corners over the purple base. Buff the edges of the purple out towards your crease. On the other side of the same brush, I'm going to take this green shade Subterranean and apply it to the center of my lid. Make sure you blend the green shade in towards the purple. Get some more of the purple shade on your brush to blend in with the green. Sweep some of the purple shade across your crease to meet up both the inner and outer corners. With the Sigma E70 Medium Angle Shading Brush, I'm going to take this peach shade from Inglot, which is 111R, and apply it to my brow bone. I'm going to use this lighter shade to blend out the crease and overlap it to get a good fade. With small buffing motions, I'm just going around the edge. Apply a bit more of the purple shade if you lost any color intensity while you were blending, and a touch more green to the center as well. Now I'm going to clean up the fallout with oil-free makeup remover and a cotton pad. You can also use this to correct any overblending and fix up your shape. Now back to the creamy bases and I'm going to apply the purple pencil on the inner and outer corners of my lower lash line and the MAC paint pot to the center. Make sure you include your tear duct. Use a Q-tip to smudge out the pencil. You can use the Q-tip to apply the MAC black ground paint pot to the center of your lower lash line. Then apply the same green and purple shades to your lower lash line with the MAC 239 from before. And don't forget to blend those shades together. Join up the lower lash line to the eyeshadow on the top and just buff that through so it meets up. And then you should have this. For the upper and lower waterline, I'm going to use this Inglot Matte Gel Eyeliner in number 77, which is their black one. And I'm going to apply it with this old Revlon pencil. Just get some on the end of the pencil, rub off the excess, and then draw on your lash line like usual. I'm using this cotton pad to lean against my face so I don't get any black stuff all over the place. Make sure you get the inner corner as well. I'm going to run a touch of this black shade in the palette called Soot and Stars along my lower lash line right close to the lashes with this small concealer brush from Japanesque. Now I'm going to apply a really thin line of Urban Decay liquid liner in Perversion. For something like this, enough to hide the band of the false lashes. I'm going to apply these Sugar Pill Spark False Lashes with Duo Lash Adhesive. I've just applied them in the center and let them sit there for a little bit. I've tucked in the outer corner and I'm going to go for the inner corner now after the glue is set a bit. I'm also just squeezing my natural lashes and my false lashes together to make sure that they blend. Now I'm going to curl my lashes carefully, avoiding these stones on the false lashes. Now I'm going to apply mascara to blend my natural lashes into my false lashes and I'm using Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Volumizing Mascara. And also apply some mascara to the lower lashes as well. Now I'm going to quickly fill in my brows with Revlon Colorstay Brow Liner in Blonde and I'm going to set my brows with Benefit Gimme Brow. And here's the finished eyes. I'm going to do my under eye area, first applying MAC Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye Primer, then Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. For the face, I'm starting with Benefit Professional as a primer. I'm using my Sigma F60 foundation brush to apply this. For foundation, I'm using Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, and I'm applying that with my Sedona Lace 928 Synthetic Flat Top Brush. To powder my face, I'm using Purely Cosmetics Diamond Perfect Finish Powder and my Sedona Lace 919 Large Paddle Brush. To highlight my face, I'm using Inglot's AMC Powder in 59 and a Haku Hayato S113 Highlight Brush. I'm going for a rather strong highlight for that eerie look. And then I'm just blending that in with my powder brush. 
For some face contouring, I'm using Bourjois Healthy Balance Unifying Powder in 56 Light Bronze and my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 Brush. With my Napoleon Paradis 20B Reflective Contour Brush, I'm going to contour my temples and cheekbones with the same powder. I'm doing some heavier contouring to the cheekbones to make them more prominent. With the same brush, I'm going to apply some MAC Cantaloupe from my Sorry Looking Blush Pen, applying it to the backs of my cheeks and avoiding the apples. And that's the finished look. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Come around and subscribe to see more of my makeup and lip art crazy ideas. If you'd like to see these Maleficent inspired lips, Check the description box or click the screen here. Click, click the little boxes, boxes if you want to see other tutorials, tutorials of mine. For more deviously delightful Mishti Max, check the description box for all my social media. Feel free to click the screen and check my blog for more pictures and a list of products.